I'm Jan from Michigan. I voted Republican in every election since 1976. For the first time in 40 years, I voted for the Democratic candidate because I thought that Donald Trump was unqualified for the presidency of the United States. Besides having no experience in public service, he had no knowledge or interest in history. He was a blatant liar and his potential conflicts of interest were numerous. When he was elected, I hoped that he would recognize his inadequacies and surround himself with competent, knowledgeable advisors who would ensure that he acted in the best interests of the country. Not only have these hopes been dashed and my worst fears realized, what he has done to the country and the office of the president is far worse than anything I imagined. When choosing advisors, he looked for only one thing, loyalty to himself. And so his top advisors have been his sons, his son-in-law, and his daughter, all of whom are as clueless about government as he is. Other advisors are people with personal agendas, such as Stephen Miller, a far-right, anti-immigration white nationalist. Everyone in his inner circle has unabashedly used his or her position in government to secure favorable business deals. Because loyalty to himself has been the only consideration when picking his cabinet, many in his cabinet are either unqualified or have conflicts of interest or both. But as scary as these presidential moves have been, perhaps the scariest is the appointment of William Barr as Attorney General, a proponent of unfettered presidential authority. He has proved his loyalty to Donald Trump by interfering with the Russia investigation and using his position to intervene in criminal cases against Trump's friends. With William Barr as Attorney General, this unprepared, ignorant, and dangerous autocrat can get away with anything. He has, and he will. I'm afraid that if he is given another four years, our democracy and our system of checks and balances will be damaged beyond repair.